What's up everyone, Abbas here from Golden Motor. Today I'm gonna to be installing a pedal assist on this bike and I'm gonna be using a Cycle Endless version 3.1. So the Cycle Endless is a universal e-bike display. Uh, it can work with any e-bike system. Um, so if you don't have a pedal assist on your bike, this is a nice way to go. Or if your uh, pedal assist is not that good on your bike, this one has like up to 20 levels of assist and you can do a lot of different functionality with this. Um, so this is a good option for you if you want to do that. And the way it works with any e-bike system is that you have this, uh, it comes with the cycling, it's called the shunt. So one, the power side, one of them goes to the controller side and one of it goes to the battery side. And I'm going to show you the detail of how to do that in a little bit. And then on the, this side, the controller side, there is a signal wire, a green signal wire, and I'll show you that part two. Basically, you are transferring the, the shunt, the signal wire from this side to any controller, and then the throttle will work. So after you install the shunt, which is going from your uh, battery to your controller, then you just plug in the cycle analyst throttle and the cycle analyst. And then you can also plug in this two button switch so you can toggle up and down on the pedal assist. And then you have a pedal assist set up over here. And in the end of the video, I'm gonna be showing you a detailed way how to configure your cycle, cycle analyst so that the pedal assist can work with your bike. All right, let's get into the build now. So the magnetic ring can go on either side of the bike. Uh, most people prefer it on the non-drive side because a lot less action happens over here. And as I said, the green 12 pole system comes with two magnetic rings. One is a splittable ring and the other one does not split. So if you wanna install the, the one that does not split, you gotta take the cranks off and then install it. But I'm gonna be installing the splittable one. So it's fairly simple. You just uh, pull it apart and then install it behind the crank. And then it comes with this uh, metal ring right here. So you wanna secure your pedal assist so it doesn't come off while you're riding. So just secure it and boom, done. And then this comes with the sensor. The other side hooks up to the cycle analyst. So you want to line up this sensor part to the magnet so as this is moving um, and if you want to make sure it is lined up properly this light should go on every time uh, the magnet spins but I don't have it hooked up so the light's not going to go on so and then there's tape on the back over here you can just remove that tape and install it but most of the time that tape is not strong enough so it also has a couple of holes for zip ties so I'm going to be putting the tape on installing the zip tie and then comes the fun part of configuring the pedal assist. So I'm going to hook this up to the uh, cycle analyst and then we're going to go on to the configuration part. The next step is to connect the shunt. Uh, basically this goes between your battery and your controller and it's labeled on the shunt. So basically you're taking the power cables coming out of your battery and then connecting that to the shunt. And then this side is going towards the controller. So the power cable that is coming out of your controller will go on this side. Okay, so that's done. And then uh, there is a female six pin JST coming out of the shunt. And then out of your cycle analyst is a male coming out. So this is where you would connect it. So again, six pin coming out of the, the shunt going to the six pin that's coming out of your cycle analyst. Okay, so the next quick step is to connect the pedal assist sensor. So out of your cycle analyst, there is a five pin JSD female right here. And then out of the sensor, there are four pins actually coming out of the sensor. So direction matters on this one. It's gonna connect on the five pin JST, but there's only four pins coming out. So direction on this matters. So it'll only click in one way. So that's the proper direction. So this part of the process is the most involved part. So out of your shunt is coming a wire right here. And I stripped it already, so there's three wires exposed. There's a green, black, and yellow. In this part, we are only concerned with the green and black one. Basically, this is the throttle signal. So what we're trying to do right now is to connect the cycle analyst to your e-bike 
uh, controller so the throttle signal is consistent so that basically we'll get all the information on the cycle analyst from your e-bike so I'm going to be doing the Magic Pi 5 um, if you don't have a Magic Pi 5 you can skip this part but if you do have a Magic Pi 5 uh, stay tuned and we'll, I'll show you the whole process so out of your Magic Pi 5 there is the wiring harness the five pin is the throttle one so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be cutting it and exposing the green and black out of this wire too. So let's cut this and then I'm going to be stripping it so I can expose the wires. Okay, so I have the wires exposed from the throttle. So there's five wires coming out of the Magic Pi 5. So our next step is basically to connect the green to the green and the black to the black. So this is the most important part. So you have to connect the green to the green, the black to the black. Okay, so the last step before we start programming the cycle analyst is to hook up the throttle and the digital auxiliary buttons. Uh, so this digital auxiliary button has a plus and minus. This is how you're going to be increasing or decreasing the speed on your pedal assist. So there's only one white plug on the cycle analyst, a three, uh, J three pin female JST. So it's plug and play. And the good thing is everything is labeled on the cycle analyst. And the good thing about this digital auxiliary button is that it has another output uh, female one where you can put in, you can plug in the grin potentiometer or even the three position switch. So you still have another auxiliary hookup right here. And then the last step is to hook up the, uh, the grin uh, cycle analyst thumb throttle or the twist throttle. Um, you can still use your thumb, I mean your throttle that came with your kit. I would not recommend it because then it gets complicated because you've got to do a lot more splicing. The margin for error goes higher. So I would get the um, throttle that comes with um, the, the cycle analyst. It makes the life so much easier. So three pin male and you just gotta plug it in. It's label throttle. There we go. Okay, so now on to programming your uh, pedal assist now. Okay, so let's set up the pedal assist on the cycle analyst. This is your home screen right here when you turn the cycle analyst on. So hold down the left button to enter the menu options. Okay, and then to cycle through the menu options, just press the right button. We wanna be right here. Set up PS device. Right now it's a disabled, that's a default. If you wanna see if your pedal assist is working, um, you just wanna see this, uh, this P and D right here. This uh, arrow looking thing, it should go up and down when you move your crank. So I just wanna check that really quickly before I go on. And then your, your light on your sensor on your pedal assist should go, uh, should turn on and off too. So you can see the, the it's going up and down. To change it from disabled to enabled, you would hold down the right button. Okay, so now it's disabled. You hold the right button down one more time. And then this is where you would press the left button. So you want to go to basic PAS. That's going to be your, so from, uh, you just, uh, you can, you can put on a torque sensor, all these different kinds of sensors on there, but we want to do a basic PAS and want to save it. Just press the right button down That's saved onto the next menu. So 12 poles is your default setting. Yeah. So our, uh, magnetic, uh, ring was 12 poles. So just leave it at 12 poles, but you can change that, uh, depending on the magnetic ring that you have. Um, the signal wire is two wires. So the one that comes with grin has a two wire system, but some uh, other sensors have a one wire system. So you can change that. So you have an option between one wire and two wire, but the, the grin one is two wires. So just leave it at that. And then this is the directional polar polarity. The next option is the directional polarity. So this will depend on if you put your uh, magnetic ring on the left side of your bike or the right side. 
Uh, right now it's set to five volts reverse. So basically, if you pedal backwards, your bike should not, it should not activate the pedal assist. So um, you can change this depending on where you put the, um, the magnetic ring. So you just hold it down. Mine is on reverse, so that's good, but I'm gonna show you, you can just change it forward. So if your bike is going, uh, it's your pedal assist is activating when you are pedaling backwards, that should not be the case, so just change it depending on that. And then save this, that's done. And then, basically, this part of the pedal assist is set up. So it's set up at basic before it was disabled. So this part is set up right now. The next thing you want to set up is go to the next menu option, which is the setup PAS config. So right now it is set up for no assist. So hold down the right button. So right now yeah, it's set for no assist. So hold down the right button one more time. And then you can cycle through the options. So we want the basic power. The other option is throttle power, but no, we don't want the basic power. So you want to save this setting, hold down the right button one more time and that is saved. After you're done changing this to basic power, the next option is, basically this is uh, the maximum amount of wattage your pedal assist will go through. Um, I have a thousand watt motor on this bike, so I'm gonna be setting this to thousand watts. You don't have to change this, but I wanna make it to thousand watts, depending on your preference. So again, to change it, hold down the right button, and then just change it to thousand watts. So you can just cycle through the one uh, using the, both the buttons. So one, save it, thousand watts, perfect. Okay, so now it's saved a thousand watts. I wouldn't mess with all these other um, configurations. This should be enough just to set up uh, basic pass. So now it's at basic pass level and at thousand watts. After you're done with this step, your next step is to set up your digital auxiliary buttons. So this is a two button uh, setup. Uh, the power button doesn't currently work with the cycle analyst, but the plus and minus button. So this is the two button setup. So in the cycle analyst menu, you would cycle through. Uh, that's temperature sensor. This is the auxiliary analog, not the analog, but the digital. So it's disabled right now, so you want to change that. Okay, we're inside control type. Uh, it is two button. This one is a two button one. So press OK. Next thing, the function. So what are we using our auxiliary uh, buttons for? So you can use it for like presets, amp limit, speed limit, power limit, but we want to go to pedal assist level right here. So save that. Next thing. So when you power on your bike, where do you want to start your pedal assist? So I, I usually want to start it at like level one because last level, like that might be like too high when you like just turned off your bike. So. Uh, you can change that to level one. So let's go level one or last level. Those are two options. So I'm gonna set it to level one. Okay, that's done. And then how many levels do you wanna have? Uh, the default is five steps. The amazing thing about the cycle analyst is that you can go up to 20 steps. So I'm gonna maximize that and I'm gonna be putting it to 20 steps actually. So, two, Enter, I may as well make this a zero. Okay, so the last step after this is to have your startup percentage, basically minimum percent at level one is zero percent. That's your default. You can change that to whatever your preference is. I like it at zero percent. Basically, there's gonna be no pedal assist at level one, but you can change that to whatever you want. Um, I leave it at zero and that is it. So yeah, I have 20 levels. And then if I do the plus and minus button on the digital auxiliary button, yeah, so at four, I got 15% and it's gonna go by 5% uh, increments. So that is your setup for your uh, pedal assist using the cycle analyst. Uh, I'm gonna put uh, all the parts that I use in this setup in the description below. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments and then until next time, we'll see you guys later.